Hey guys, um, so I'm back. I know that it's been a really, really long time. Um, today I'm coming at you with absolutely no makeup on, so um, I hope you guys aren't like too frightened or anything like that, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial today, and this tutorial is basically just going to be like a kind of natural, everyday look. This isn't how I do my makeup every day because I don't usually wear eyeshadow, but this is just a look that you could do if you wanted to do like a really simple eyeshadow look. Um, so yeah, um, basically I, my last video was me telling you that I would be going to Cuba, so I already went, I had an amazing time, and I've been back for quite a while now, um, but I haven't filmed a video because, um, just so much has been going on, I've been kind of busy. Um, if you guys want to know a little bit more about that, I will be doing a kind of update video on my main channel, which I will link down below in the description box. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get started with this tutorial, and um, the first thing that I'm going to do is use my Baby Lips um, lip balm and just moisturize my lips, and I usually do this because by the time I'm ready to put something on my lips at the end, um, this will have kind of sunk in and moisturized my lips really well. And this one is just in Grapevine, this is my favorite one, um, and it smells like grapes, so that's really cool. Um, second step, I would sometimes use this um, Clinique moisturizer. Um, this is a dramatically different moisturizer, but I'm not going to use that today because I find lately, like especially when the weather is warm, my skin is a little more oily, so I don't want to make it look too oily. Um, so I think I'd be good with just my natural oils or whatever right now. Um, so now I'm just going to apply my foundation. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. I've really been liking this. And this is in the color 290 Cappuccino. So I usually just get some on my finger. Um, this is kind of running out, so it might take a while. And then I'll just dab it on points on my face. So my forehead, my temples. And then I bring some down my nose. And under my eyes. I'm going to actually just be explaining everything in this video, and I'm not going to be editing anything out of this video because I'm really lazy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys as I go along, like kind of explain what I'm doing. So basically you want to cover your face. Um, some people don't need foundation. I definitely feel like I do, but if you don't wear foundation, then you can just skip this step. Um, so yeah, I just apply it pretty much everywhere on my face, like I said. And then I like to use a kabuki to blend that in, so I'm just going to be using this little kabuki and um, I'm just going to make sure you blend it in really, really well. I'll move closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. I find underneath my eyes are really dark, so I like to get um, underneath there really well. You also want to get underneath the underside of your chin and just like around your jawline really well so that it blends nicely, like the color between your face and your neck and stuff. I also like to put a little bit of foundation on my eyelids, kind of acts like a base for the eyeshadow, and um, it also just my eyelids are really dark, so it also just kind of neutralizes them, makes them a little lighter. Okay, so that's my foundation. After I've done that, I like to take a face powder. Um, this one is in the brand Iman, and it looks like this. And I'm just going to take a powder brush from Spa Resource. And I don't usually like to do my entire face, but you can if you want. Um, but I like to just do it in the T of my face, so like my forehead, down my nose. And then in my mouth and chin area. And then I'll also like go in just like under my eyes and across my cheekbones. And then I like to take a concealer. I'm actually going to wait until the end to do the concealing. And um, 
I find that that kind of just, if you have any fallout from your eyeshadow or anything, this will kind of cover it up. Um, so I'm going to skip this step and put that at the end. Um, so next I'm going to be doing my eyes. So, um, you can go ahead and use a primer if you're going to be, like, going out all day. Um, but one of my favorite primers is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, but I'm actually not going to use this just because I already put on foundation over my eyelids. Um, you can do either or, or you can do them both together, but today I'm just going to be using the foundation that I'm already wearing. Um, so for my eyelids, I love this color. It's by All Lit Up. The brand is Hard Candy, and this is in the color quick sand so it's just a really nice neutral color and um, I'm gonna take this little brush and just pick some up and go over my eyelids with that and this is like a really nice natural color um, I find it goes really well with my skin tone um, on lighter skin tones it would look even more natural I believe so um, it just depends on what kind of look you're going for but I think this is perfect for what I'm going for right now So you just want to cover your entire lid with that. And then we're going to take a darker color, um, preferably a matte color of your choice. Um, I have Rimmel London Dusk, and this is a color rush. And you can see it's like really, really matte and just really dark. And I'm going to take a blending brush. And then you just want to apply that in kind of like your outer V as well as your crease. This is just going to give your eye dimension and kind of contrast with the lighter color that we already applied. And um, like I said, it kind of provides dimension and depth in your, your crease and it makes your eyes look a lot more dimensional and it makes them pop. So you want to blend that in really well just in your crease and like kind of bring it down in your outer corner. And then you want to take 